lithium ion batteries aren't the only way that we're going to get EVs on the road. Uh, what's your thesis? So, you know, we're a big believer in both fuel cells mm -hmm. uh, and batteries as a solution. You know, these are going to mix in as a part of the transportation solutions over the next several years. And um, we're really seeing evidence of this accelerate. So Tesla, you know, has made it obvious uh, that this is commercially viable um, and that this is something that we need to invest in for the future. The fuel cell companies, I think, are playing a little bit of catch up mm -hmm. after, after um, you know, 20 years ago and in investing aggressively and, you know, incremental improvement between here and there. Plug Power has done 30,000 uh, fuel cell lift trucks in the field. So they've demonstrated this product is, is, is completely reliable. Now the trucks. And actually, today, uh, Plug had a press release uh, announcing a uh, classic truck product that they're developing with a partner. So uh, Bloomberg NEF that really does a lot of forecasting with EVs, they're one of the more aggressive forecasters, has yeah. a great chart that shows for the rise of EVs as well as fuel cells, et cetera. What is a fuel cell car? Like, if I'm choosing between a Tesla and a fuel cell car, like, what's my differentiation? So the availability of fuel cell cars is actually somewhat limited right now. They're not... Uh, too many commercial options. Um, you know, there, there have been vehicles uh, available in different markets, particularly in California, uh, where the OEMs are looking to accumulate ZEV credits. Um, battery electric vehicles are, are broadly commercial, right? Tesla's proven this. Everybody else is, is working hard to catch up. So, you know, both, both cars are out there, and I expect uh, fuel cell vehicles for um, trucking actually to be a much more interesting product after the industrial opportunity in lift trucks has really been proven out, you know, over the last several years. So uh, a, a big conversation when it comes to the adoption of EVs uh, has to do with the cheaper the lithium gets, the cheaper the batteries get, uh, and the cheaper the EVs will be, so then I'll go want to buy one. What's the, what is it for fuel cells? What is, what is what? What is the price or e what is the adoption, e the adoption driver? Yeah, like the, the, what's, the, what's the price for a fuel cell battery versus, say, like an, a lithium-ion battery? And how does that feed into sort of how fast you can make them, how fast you can buy them? It's so it, it, it's highly dependent on the application that you're looking to, mm -hmm. uh, to serve. So the, the best application is the high-volume uh, com comparison lithium battery versus fuel cell in a lift truck. Right there, you're looking at a battery that's probably about 20, 25, sorry, a, a fuel cell being about 20, 25 percent more expensive, um, but they're offsetting costs, mm -hmm. right? The, the offset is um, that the, uh, the ease of refueling and the uptime of the fleet is different. Um, so, you know, that's why in smaller installations, you know, sub-50 lift trucks, lithium batteries are favored, north of 50 lift trucks. You know, when you have high utilization, fuel cells are favored over the legacy technology of lead acid batteries. So, you know, when you start looking at consumer vehicles, there are mm -hmm. much, much more difficult um, comparisons that end up being made. But trucks, you know, batteries fundamentally are, are, are too heavy for long haul or for Same. intermediate haul. Fuel cells, hydrogen is extremely light, extremely energy dense. And that's why you have an opportunity for, um, you know, right. superior performance there versus versus batteries.